So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the P0134 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Nissan P0134 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit, no activity detected, bank one, sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses oxygen sensors located on the exhaust to know how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And it's seen a problem with one of these. So that to be troubleshooted to know why. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And sensor one is always the first sensor that goes down on that side of the exhaust. And so some of the possible causes, well, it could be a bad oxygen sensor, it could be in the wiring, could be a bad connection, and possibly a bad fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the bank one, sensor one, oxygen sensor. And this can be located differently. And there can be multiple sensors. Quite often there's two, but there can be more. There can be like four or even five, or there can be different setups dependent on the year of the Nissan. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for where all the oxygen sensors are. But two is very common, and basically what's going on with them is that you'll have sensor one, or the upstream oxygen sensor, which is located before the catalytic converter, and then you'll have sensor two, or the downstream oxygen sensor, which is located after the catalytic converter. And so the one you want to go and locate is going to be this sensor one. And like I said, they can be located differently. Here's the 2006 Honda Element, and here is sensor one right here. You can see it's got a wiring harness. And here's another example that when you pop the hood, you look right down, it's right on the exhaust. And here's another example. This is a 2007 Versa. And you have to remove the battery to get to the sensor. As you can see right here, here's the plug going to the sensor. And it's down in there. And it's a little bit difficult to get to, but it's right in there, right behind the engine, right in here. And so the first thing to do after you locate the bank one, sensor one, oxygen sensor, is go examine the wiring. Because anything wrong with the wiring, an open, short, bad connection, anything like this is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you want to check that out and be sure that's good. And another thing to keep in mind is that this will also be on a fuse. There'll be a fuse box located inside the engine compartment, and there'll be a fuse inside there for this circuit. As you can see right here, it says heated oxygen sensor, number 85, and that would be right over here. So this is all something to keep in mind. Because if you have bad wiring or a blowing fuse or anything like that, then it can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. And so if that all looks good, the wiring all looks good, there's no blowing fuse or anything like that, then very likely that sensor is bad. You can't test it if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that but very likely it's time to replace that sensor. And they're not high cost parts or nothing. I'll jump over on Amazon, give you an idea how much they're going for and what they look like. And it looks like they range around 29, there's one for 60, 23, 37. So for around 40, 50, 60 dollars or so, you will be able to get a new sensor. They're not high cost parts or anything. And one thing to mention is that on this sensor one, you usually need this special tool to, to get it in and out and get around that wire. And plus it's usually recessed in to a hole like this so you really need that special tool not all the time there there is cases sometimes when you don't need it but that's mainly if it's down on the exhaust farther or like sensor two sometimes those ones sometimes you could get to with an open end wrench but the sensor one is usually located inside of a hole and, and then you have to go around that wire so you almost need this special tool again go and look and be sure what it looks like but keep in mind you're very likely going to need this special tool i'll put a link down below to show you what i'm talking about but just keep in mind, you're very likely going to need that special tool. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to do a real quick video on how you go about fixing a Nissan with the P0134 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.